Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're going to be looking at stem and leaf graphs. So without further ado, let's get started. So the purpose of the um, stem and leaf graph uh, or plot is to actually kind of collate a whole series of numbers and kind of see if there's any kind of patterns appearing from it. So for this particular example here, we're going to be looking at the look at the smallest number first. And I can see that 10 is the smallest number. And then the largest number in this particular data set is 31. So the way I'm going to set up this stem and leaf plot is that I'm actually going to put down all the tens column first. So I'm going to put down one, two and three. And Basically, this is now the stem part of this particular plot here. Next, we're going to have all the leaf or the leaves in this case, the leaves that are going to kind of pop up here. So how does it work? We're going to have a look at 10 first. So 10, we're going to cross that out like that because that's going to track what all the numbers I've actually completed. So that zero. Uh, so we're actually writing all the ones, whatever numbers in the ones column, we're going to be writing it as leaves. And whatever numbers in the stem, we're going to write that in the tens column, we're going to be writing it in the stem, uh, stem side of things. So next, we've got 14. So that's going to be four. And then we've got 13, 19, 12, we got 25, 26, 24, 22, 15, 14, 13, 10, and then finally 31. Now there's one more step that's actually quite handy to be doing for these types of stem and leaf plots is actually arranging them in order. So I'm going to try and do this again, but this time those, um, the leaves, I'd like to actually do them in order. So I've got one there for 31, which is nice and easy. Then I've got two, four, five, six. Then as for the tens column, I've got two tens. I've got a 12, 13, 13, 14, 14, 15, and 19. So as you can see, my stem and leaf plot now is in um, kind of like um, ascending order as well. So it makes it easy for me to find out what the median um, lower quarter and upper quarter list. So ideally with stem and leaf plots, you want to make sure that you finish it with the numbers in ascending order. All right, so let's have a look at this question here. And I might give you a couple of minutes to try it out by yourselves. And then I'll actually go through the answers. All right, so first step is to try and figure out what's the uh, smallest number in this case. And I'm thinking smallest number 56 so far. Yep, 56 looks good. And then I want to know what the largest number is. I've got an 81 here. Yep, looks like 81 is the largest number. So for this one, what I'm going to do is I am going to write the stem first. So in the stem side of things, I've got five, six, seven, and eight. Then for the leaves, or the leaf really, I am going to start looking at um, some of these numbers. So we've got, I'm going to start from 67 here. So 67, then we've got 71, got 69, we've got 72, 80, 75, 78, 77, 63, 56, 59, 62, 74, 81, 68, 68 is here, 76, 64, 58, 70, and 79. And of course, a good habit is to write them in ascending order. So I'm just going to rewrite this again, and I'm going to put my stem here. Let's just zoom in a little bit. There we go. I'm going to have my leaf here. So they've got five, six, seven and eight and of course i want to make sure that i put this in ascending order now there's 80s are fine because it's 80 and 81 we've got 56 58 59 then we've got the next number is i've got two three four seven eight nine 
then I've got 0, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And folks, that's pretty much um, what you need to do for a, a stem and leaf plot right there. All right, folks, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Now, there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here. Great material for revision. And as always, thank you for watching.